2010, whilst working for a local authority and signposting other people to services, I felt that we could introduce something new to the market where we were more community based rather than building based in lots of things that we do. We felt that we could bring a new opportunity and we felt the skills between us, my background is IT and finance and Maria's was care so we joined the two together and uh, started County Care. Our values at County Care are very much about people living their best lives really and achieving what they want to achieve delivering meaningful, purposeful activities to everybody that we support, whether that be in our daytime opportunities or within their own home. Our home-based care service is quite varied. It may be that we're supporting somebody with personal care within their home, potentially helping them with some cleaning tasks or cooking, or getting them out and about in the community to visit friends or family or visit the GP. We work with the service users and the staff. We ask for monthly goals, um, see how the service users are getting on in their own home lives, what are they looking to achieve next and really just live more independently. So we've got four sites in Surrey, community skills pubs, and we've got two in Lincolnshire, one in Hull Beach and one in Skegness. Community skills is set up to give people opportunities that most people take for granted on an everyday. The one thing about the community skills is to ensure that it's real life, that it's not a made up, but that they can carry those skills in through the rest of their life. It's about being able to see the link up between the help that people need and the good that we can actually do in the community to introduce that help. A lot of it is around partnership working, so our teams are quite key in building up rapport within their local communities. So we were approached by Chris um, from County Care asking um, if there was any way that they could start a local gardening project with us. And they said brilliant, like the idea, we've planted lots of things over the years and uh, as you saw today Michael was digging up the potatoes, that's the fruits of his labour. They're giving us their, their, the products that they're growing, potatoes which we're using in our kitchen and we're putting them out on display with all these other various products um, for people to come along and help themselves to on a pay to basis so it's a real, they're providing a real sense of community and just for me it's just such a great partnership. It's always absolutely vital because as community skills we can only offer as much as we can but as we partner with other groups, companies, businesses, it will give the guys more exposure and more opportunities. Okay, so today is our, uh, it's a new thing that started during lockdown, really exciting, um, is our project radio. We are now based in a proper radio studio uh, and broadcast from there. That has built up a lot of, uh, for a lot of our guys, the social skills which they didn't have before. It's also given them some confidence. And it's really nice that it's mainly service use to run. So it's them producing, coming up with the playlists, coming up with the content, um, and literally just running the whole radio project themselves. Working with our clients is just the most amazing thing. I ever get to do. Yeah, we do some amazing stuff from from like the Radio Skills Project, but we've, we've got stuff in our community that we are very proud of. The environment we strive to create, I would say, is um, just a really happy place to be. We always say to the guys, you know, if I set them a project and they don't like it, that's fine, you know, I would encourage them to, to really choose a project that they're passionate about and that's the philosophy of it and it is a social thing as well we have a good time here they achieve at different times but it's all about empowering them to do things for themselves and if they don't achieve after they've tried there is another day another time we ensure that staff and service users are safe and well looked after, ensuring the provision of the care that's delivered is of a high quality and that we're compliant with the Care Quality Commission. I feel that as a team we all make a difference to people's lives. Personally, just seeing the way that staff interact and the way that staff develop as well. Not only do I look after people, but I meet some amazing people and their families. My wife cannot get over how oh, what a nice person I've become. <laughs> like the people I work with, um, I feel really comfortable building a rapport with all of our customers and I find that this environment is an environment that makes me happy. Grant and Maria, who are the co-owners, 
Um, they put all their heart and soul into running the business. Uh, that's something I like to emulate as well. To think that they started off in almost like a garden outhouse building um, all those years ago, over 10 years ago, and they've built their way all the way up to where we are now. I just think it's amazing, and I just think the service users that we have had from like day one as well, and um, that are still with us, if you look at their journey, how much they've progressed, I think it makes a huge difference. The more you put in, the more you get back from them and I think that's of all the service users that I've come across. You have to be kind-hearted to work in care and that's certainly true of our team here. County Care has got a fantastic opportunity to become the leading care specialist support provider throughout the entire UK and possibly beyond.